Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Tune Review YouTube channel, <clears throat> where today it is West Ham United against Newcastle United in the Premier League, and you're joining me for the watch along. <clears throat> I do apologise; I sound like a bloody croaky frog this morning. Um, COVID is still uh, rife in my body, unfortunately, and uh, uh, it feels like I'm overheating. But never mind; we'll, we battle on. Um, and uh, well, news already in that uh, St. Maximan. Uh, declared injured this morning. I don't get that. I don't get it at all. Um, I'm, I'm struggling to see how that happened. Um, Eddie Howe did not give any indication yesterday that St. Maximan was injured. He's travelled. Therefore, if he's travelled, why? Uh, you have to ask yourself that. And also, um, what has happened between the press conference yesterday, travelling to London, and then suddenly he's missing the day. I, I, I don't understand it, actually, and I, I, I never will. Um, I'm struggling. Um, so, you know, is he injured? Is he not injured? You know, some people are saying two to three weeks. How? If he wasn't injured yesterday, where does the two to three weeks come from? Absolutely bizarre. But anyway, there's the team. Um, I'm not sure whether that's a great view or not, whether you can see it or not, to be honest. Um, obviously, Dubravka starts in goal. Emil Kraft is starting at right back. Uh, we have Dan Byrne and Fabian Shark keeping the places at centre backs, which I, I'm I'm really happy about, to be honest. Um, we've then got Matt Target coming back at left back, the same midfield of Shelby, Joe Linton, and of course Joe Willock. And then we've got uh, Ryan Fraser on one side, Jacob Murphy on the other, with Chris Wood in the middle. So, you know what? It's it's not a bad team, um, and it, it's certainly the you know the players that we've got coming back. I.e. Matt Target, I think will will do really well. Um, you know, a proper left back. It's obviously the right back position I'm worried about. And that's been a lot of people's worry uh, from the off, really. Uh, you know, when we spoke about it on match reviews and stuff like that, um, everybody said, you know, it's going to be tough uh, playing at right back, you know, because Emil Kraft just isn't one. And he may have a real job on his hands. And certainly I think uh, David Moyes will, will target that area. I'm under no illusion about that. Um, we'll go through some comments. Uh, Rowan said, just read ASM is out. Uh, Bruno will have to start. Well, unfortunately, Barber is not. Uh, pissed off journals are leaking these injuries of players before how, causing a meltdown on social media. Uh, is it true ASM is out? Yes. Uh, Bruno's not starting. Uh, yes, how manage how keeping his uh, cards close to his chest, or it could be mind games. Well, unfortunately, Barbara, as we know now, it isn't mind games. Um, can't believe that Murphy in for Max is still no Bruno in the starting lineup. Um, well, a lot of people were saying, uh, you know, when they heard that St. Maximan was out, why don't they just basically go um, put Joe Linton back on the left-hand side and bring Bruno in? Um, you know, it's not like Joe Linton hasn't played there before. But the question is, you know, do we trust him there? And, and we have to, you know, is he better in the middle or is he better out wide left? Um, personally, what I would have done is I'd have put Joe Willick there, um, you know, for his pressing capabilities and then, you know, made sure that Bruno could come in that way. But obviously, again, they're going a different way. Um, Barbara says, uh, and I see uh, the Catman is starting for West Ham. He is indeed. Uh, now we lose our main man, ASM. To be honest, I will not be surprised if we lose 2-1 or 2-0. Well, the thing is, we've got to stay positive here because if we start thinking negative stuff and we're not going to do anything and we're going to lose the game, etc., um, you know, we, we may as well go home now. 
Um, yes, losing the SM is going to make the game a lot tougher than it was originally. Um, but I think, you know, we, we have a newfound confidence in this team and we have a newfound confidence in the defence. Um, now, Emil Kraft's going to have to pull his finger out his backside today. There is no doubt about that. So he will have to play well. Um, but, you know, you've got Dan Byrne, you've got Fabian Schaert, you've got Matty Target, players who uh, have come in and um, and so far done a, a very, very good job. Um, so I, I'm not too worried about that. I, I just... I worry about the right-hand side uh, more than anything else. Uh, we're going to struggle to create anything today. Uh, would be over the moon with a point. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Callum says this is going to be a huge challenge for us, especially with the team set up. West Ham TV saying we are fielding a relegation standard team versus them today. Uh, you know what? I mean, I don't know what to think of the maxi situation, guys. I honestly don't because, you know, is he injured? Is he not? Or is he just saying he's injured to save him for the... Um, you know, the, the the more important games, but this is important to me. You know, we need to get points on the board and points on the board quick in order to avoid being in a relegation battle come the last few games of the season. That's what we don't want to be. We don't want to be in that situation. So it, it, it's it's a bit strange. Uh, Wise guys, there's no chance today. Weak team. Uh, Wham will walk it. West Ham will walk it today. 3-0 to the Londoners. Uh, Magpie Jordy says 2-1 to the tune. How are the lads? Uh, I really can't understand. You pay 40 million quid for an international player and he's not in the starting 11 when your two best players are injured. Um, Simon, I have to agree. I'm a little bit... I'm struggling a little bit with that, uh, with him being out today, um, with ASM being out and Bruno not coming in. I think we need our all our best players, really. You know, but you pay 40 million quid and what, three games now and he still hasn't started? You, you have to ask questions. Um, especially, with, he could have brought him in today now that the ASM was missing. He, he could have done that. There's, there's no doubt about that in my eyes. Um, putting him in would have given the team a huge boost. Uh, again, a lot of people saying Bruno must start, but he isn't, guys. He's just not. Uh, a tough match has got even tougher. More pressure on Wood to provide the goals. Uh, there is a lot of pressure on him today, um, but we know that he likes playing against West Ham. He's got a very, very good record against West Ham as well. Um, you know, 20 minutes away from kickoff now, things are building up. Uh, what I would ask, guys, uh, and I asked this on the last watch along, um, I'm upstairs in the uh, in my studio bit um, watching this on BT Sport. Um, I do have it, so but it's on my laptop, so it may be behind some people and I may be in front of others. So can we ask that you... Um, you know, during the match, you don't put if there's a goal or anything like that until I've commentated on it, please. Um, that's just to give everybody a fair view of the game, a fair, you know, those of people who haven't got BT Sport and are watching it differently. You know, we've let's just make sure that we, we, we do it that way. Um, listen to the commentary from me. And then obviously once there's something happened in the game, then comment on it after I've done it, please. So we're just asking for a bit of uh, a bit of decency. Don't put anything before I have just for the people that are behind. So thank you very much for that. Um, a tough match has got even tougher. Uh, more pressure on Wood uh, to provide goals today. Um, Simon says the team, uh, I think, is okay. Having Kraft on the wing does not inspire confidence. Um, uh, not to me. Uh, he's keeping the shape of the team in place by playing Murphy. Uh, two good crosses of the ball on either flank. Uh, Bruno to get more minutes today, I think. Team isn't far from what I expected. Uh, it isn't far from what I expected either. And um, I, I do agree with that. But um, what I'm not so sure about is, you know, getting the balls in the box. Are we going to get forward enough, um, you know, w w without the driving runs of Maxi? This is a big test because a lot of us have said that, you know, Maxi hasn't been playing well lately. Um, you know, he had a great game against Everton, not so good against Villa. Um, how will we do without him in the side? Well, this is the uh, this is the chance that we're going to see. Um, uh, Eddie Howe's been interviewed now, but obviously I can't listen to it for copyright reasons. So if if anybody is put in the comments what he's saying, especially if he said anything about Maxi, um, maybe Big Dan Byrne can nick a goal in the box if we get some decent corners in. Um, indeed, uh, and that's what we need to use him for today. Uh, he's got to be up there. Everyone said we couldn't beat Everton or Villa, but we got the results. So never say never. Positivity, Simon, that's the way forward. Good afternoon, George. Uh, fingers crossed that we can get something out of this game. Uh, come on, guys, let's look at the positives. Can't find any, but let's just keep looking. Uh, Santosh, keep looking, mate, because there will be some. 
Uh, Newcastle have deleted the lineup post. Uh, well, yeah, but I, don't, I wouldn't see anything into that. Um, who's Dylan? Dylan injured? Interesting. Uh, Chloe says, this is typical Newcastle, isn't it? Why do all our best players get injured? Well, listen, I mean, we know we know where ASM's made of glass, guys, don't we? I mean, very, very similar to uh, to Callum Wilson. Um, you know, he gets injured very, very easily. Um, now, what I would say, this is an opportunity for the players that are stepping up. Um, certainly, massive opportunity for Jacob Murphy today. Real opportunity for Willock to push forward and see what he can do and try and continue his good form. Um, so there is a few things that I'm looking forward to seeing today. Um, I think Chris Wood's got to be a lot more um, involved in the game today. Uh, he's got to do better with, you know, chesting the ball down and and uh, working and bringing players into the play. I think he has to do that better. Um, so he, he's got a big task on his hands today, Chris Wood. Uh, but it is very important that we, we get the ball to the wingers, I think, uh, and we get some crosses in because uh, th- that's what I think Chris Wood will thrive on is is getting balls into the box. Uh, it's called Sod's Law, Chloe. Indeed it is. Uh, oh, my God, no, Maxi, but maybe this is better for Wood to score. Well, time will tell. Uh, damn, today is going to be tough without ASM and Trippier. Uh, we're going to need the rest of the uh, rest of them to show up and perform at the top of their game. Uh, listen, we need them to perform at the top of the game all the way through now, whether we like it or not. They have to be at the top of the game right up to the end of the season. Now, they're, you know, there's no doubt about that. They've got to be bang on it for the rest of the season, um, starting with today. Uh, three best players out: West Ham have Antonio, Ben Rama, and Bourne all starting. Uh, this is going to be bad. Um, well, yeah, because we thought Ben Rama would have been injured, but uh, unfortunately he wasn't. Uh, so he's a very, very dangerous player. Uh, with no trip your ASM, I can't see us getting anything today. Guys, we need to be a bit more positive. You know, I mean, I know, you know, ASM's missing and, and things like that, but we, we do need to be positive here. You know, we, we, we're writing the lads off, and I think it's a bit unfair on the players that are playing. Um, we've, we've got to stay positive and just see how we do. You know, this is Newcastle United, guys, at the end of the day, and it, it's either, you know, We'll either be absolute tosh or we'll be magnificent today. There's no middle ground with Newcastle United. Um, but I think it's very important that they take something out of the game today. Um, don't lose. Win if you can, but take something from the game. And I think we've got to get behind them. You know, it's a, the, the lads have done really well the last few weeks and, and the effort levels and the fitness have all been there. Um, so I think we're, you know, just because the SM's missing and tripping, we're writing the rest of them off a little bit too easy. Um I mean, I know I've said me piece on uh, Emil Kraft, but Jesus, I mean, you know, I, I, he, he for me, is the worry. The, the one worry in position today is right back, but he may prove me wrong. Um, and I'll certainly support him once the game kicks off and let's see how he does. Uh, at the minute, it's absolutely lashing down at the uh, at the, the stadium. Uh, Bradley Big Toe says, how are the lads? Going to need another dogfight from the lads to get something, I believe. Uh, Murphy might actually be better for Chris Wood. Hey, you never know. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely never. Uh, was going to watch, but I'm uh, off to bed. Oh, dear. Uh, we will probably get dominated possession-wise, uh, but as long as our defence holds strong with Burn and Target holding us firm, then I think we can do okay. Kraft is our weak link at the back. Yeah, and I think everybody's recognised that Kraft is probably the weak link at the back. However, you know, like I said before, let's let's just... Get the game kicked off. Let's see how we do. Let's be positive. You know, there's lads on that pitch today. Let's not forget that have done really well for us the last few weeks. Um, and, you know, I've got a lot more confidence in in, in John Joe. I've got a lot more confidence in in, in Big Joe. Um, Willock still, for me, needs to do a little bit more, but he has improved. The, the, that there's no doubt about. Uh, but for me, I mean, the, the TV is just showing it now. The, the main man for West Ham at the minute is Jared Bourne. Um, we can't afford to give him space. Now, I said last night on the review show, if David Moyes has any sense about him, if Emil Kraft is on that starting sheet, then he tells Bourne to target Newcastle's right back position because that's that's just simple maths, guys. You know, it, it, it's it's obvious that you target that, but he's playing so, so well at the moment. Um, and he is the worry for me. Uh, not not Antonio. I think, you know, Bernard and Shark can deal with him every day of the week. Um, Bourne and Ben Rama are the two... Uh, real, you know, 
skill players. You know, Ben Rama loves to, you know, Ben Rama's a bit like ESM. He, he, he likes to take players on. He likes to have a go at everybody. And, um, you know, but it's a very, very interesting lineup from South, from uh, West Ham. Fabianski, Fredericks, Dawson, Zuma, Cresswell. I've got Rice and Suchek. Then uh, three of Bourne, four Niles, Ben Rama, and then Antonio. Four, four two, three, one. Um, I think, you know, Stato said this on the uh, preview show last night, that maybe we should have gone that formation as well because we've got the players available in that squad to do it, but he hasn't. He's stuck with a 4-3-3. Um, big, big, big opportunity. Um, for. I mean, Fraser's got to work his ass off, but we know he will. Um, that's just the way he plays. Without ASM up front, where are the goal's coming from? Well, Rome, we could say that, you know, in the last few games. I mean, you know, we scored three against Everton. We scored, you know, one against Villa. Let's not panic here. You know, I think we're writing Newcastle off too easy. Uh, we won't lose, I think, a draw. Uh, no SM, that's where he, we're going to win today, believe it or not. That's it, John Joe. That's what we like to see. Uh, bottom three have tough games, uh, so stop the negativity up the mags. Indeed, you know, let's let's be honest here. The, the, the bottom three have very, very tough games. So, um, like I said, get something out of the game. Just get something out of it and, you know, we'll, we'll be okay. Uh, smash the like button. Good luck with tune today. Thanks, Doug. Uh, go and check out the Dugout Football channel on YouTube. Cracking lad, cracking channel. Um, Liverpool fan, but he, 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 he's got a soft spot for the tune. I know he has, so uh, uh, he's, uh, he's a great lad. So go and get subscribed to him. Uh, trips and ASM are a huge miss, but if we can graft our asses off, we can come away with something. Uh, we can't go into the game scared. How are the lads? Um, Doug thinks all three of the bottom will lose today. Uh, can see is getting anything today. A draw would be decent on the injuries. Uh, I know Brazil wonder kid in the team. Uh, listen, we've got, I think Bruno will play more minutes today. Uh, I genuinely believe that uh, because we are going to have to work very, very hard uh, to get anything out of the game. So I think Bruno, um, Bruno will play more minutes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually in no doubt about that. So, uh, very, very interesting to see what minute he does come on. Uh, a draw would be decent on the injuries. Uh, yeah, we've seen that. Well, one nil. Uh, would he snatch and grab? Believe, boys and girls. Uh, good afternoon, Julie. Hope you're well. Uh, and a big up to the mods backstage working hard again. Um, love them to bits. Uh, without ASM, Ryan, chill, chill. Uh, a point would be decent on the current team issues, indeed. Um, but I don't want to see us play for a point because if we play for a point, we'll lose the game. Um, we, we know how badly, um, how badly things go when Newcastle United try and play for a point. If we try and win the game and get a point from it, then so be it. But when Newcastle United try for a draw, things tend to go south very, very quickly with Newcastle. Um, Toon Dave says, afternoon all. Shame about Maxi today, but does give others the chance to shine uh, in this one. Tough game and a point would be a great result today. How are the lads, the beautiful Paul Bastard as captain? Um, Maxi went out last night. Um, he didn't travel. He is there. I've seen him. I've seen him get off the bus. You know, unless there's, unless he's got a doppelganger, that was definitely him. Uh, Calf knock says Ron. No, I, well, we'll see. Good afternoon, Andrew. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, Shane in Australia. Heads up, lads. Uh, no need to fear West Ham. It's West Ham, not bloody Man City. Well said, mate. Kraft is a big weakness for us. He is, but we'll see how he does. Uh, Murphy is good for Woods' game. He will cross the ball in. And what I like about Jacob Murphy is he's two-footed. You know, so he can, if he's on the right, he can easily cut in, cross a ball on his left, or indeed shoot the ball on his left. You know, and he's got a good shot on him. Uh, he, he's, he knows where the goal is. He can take players on. So I'm looking forward to seeing how Jacob Murphy does today because I think one thing about Jacob Murphy is he's he's improved a lot since he's come to the club. Yes, the loan the, the loans that he's had have, have definitely helped him, no doubt about that. But at the same time, he's worked his ass off to get where he is, and he's still an integral part of the squad. So hopefully he'll come good today. Um, How's come out and said he was kicked numerous times against Villa. Seems he's been rested. Uh, maybe ASM got injured on the coach. Do you know what it is? I've heard that this morning. Um, that something may have happened on the coach, but I haven't heard anything else on it, so I, I, I don't know. Uh, Andrew says, not confident that they would take a point now. Can't see it, though. Uh, any links? Uh, well, I'm watching it on BT, so I, I haven't got any links. Big chance for Miggy if he gets subbed on. 
I don't think Miggy's in Eddie Howe's plans, to be honest, Ryan. I really don't. I think, I think um, we probably need to accept that Miggy is 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 going to be sort of leaving the club, um, possibly in the summer. Uh, extra 15 minutes to create things where ESM would be ball hogging. Um, that team's not winning today. Uh, yeah, at least he might actually put the ball in for Wood. Uh, Dino says, would like to have seen Bruno in today at the absence of ESM rather than Murphy. Let's give Murphy an opportunity. I can I can see what he's doing. Um, you know, he wants to try and keep the system the same. He doesn't want to change it too much. Um, so again, let, let, let's just trust in what Eddie's doing here. Okay. Um, you know, we, we we can all say later on when I do the review show at four o'clock and we, we you know, if we've, we haven't played well and um, we've lost the game, then we can look back and think, right, what decisions was right, what decisions were wrong, and then, and then we can go from there. Um, ESM did not travel to London. Well, I saw, I've, I've seen him get off the bus. Uh, knowing how lucky he probably fell when getting off the bus, uh, I'm more hoping it's just a sickness thing uh, and all the journals are talking nonsense as usual. Uh, not confident now, to be honest. Uh, we have lost our biggest threats, Trippier and ASM. Kraft giving me nightmares at right back. He's got to be better positionally today, Emil Kraft. He's got to be aware of his surroundings. That's what worries me about Emil Kraft, that he's not aware of his surroundings. He's not aware who's behind him. And the problem I see with Emil Kraft and the problem I saw last week against Villa was when, you know, he came on and he was getting sucked in towards the central defenders rather than what was on the other side behind him on the wing where he's supposed to be. Um, now, it happened to Dummett a few times as well, no doubt about that. Uh, but, you know, Dummett recovers much better than Emil Kraft does. Uh, so if, he's got to be more spatial awareness today. It'll be interesting to see how he does. Uh, so glad we've got a game in hand and lower three have tough games. Uh, we can't catch a break. Well, it's Newcastle United, unfortunately. Uh, please keep comments friendly, respectful, and no spoilers when the game starts. Exactly. Thank you very much, Julie. Uh, I would take a draw. Uh, uh, any idea uh, who that De Ball, who was on the bench, he's, he's a good player. Um, I'm looking forward to him being a future star for Newcastle United, to be honest. Um, very, very, very talented. Uh, but, I, I, you know, I think it's just Eddie's putting him on the bench now to give him that first team experience and, and see how he does. Uh, Nathan says 4-2 win today. Uh, why is John Sinclair doing a watch along at the same time? Uh, look, it, it's his channel. If he wants to do a watch along, uh, th th then he can. Um, Barry's doing one on World of Sport TV because we love doing them, you know. And, and it's you know, it, you know, people have their own channels, and if they want to do the the, the watch alongs, then so be it. You know that, that that's um, entirely up to them, and I, I really don't have a problem with it. Um, you know, because w what I'm saying is people. People like the, doing the watch-alongs, you know. People like doing them um, because it's it, it's exciting. We like doing the different commentary. My God, it is lashing down at the London Stadium right now. Absolutely lashing down. But if you do enjoy the show today, guys, as usual, please do hit the like button um, and do consider subscribing to the channel if you're new and you like what you see. You can become a member of the Tune Review if you hit the uh, join button just underneath the video or the link is down below in the description. You can donate to the channel if you wish today as well by using the Super Chat button. Hit the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments, and that'll take you through to the payment method. So thank you in advance for that. Um, and a big, big thank you once again for the continued support of uh, the channel sponsors, Jordy Riffs, professional guitar repairs and service and based here in the Northeast. Um, they are offering 10% off your first guitar setup, 10% off your first repair, and a first guitar lesson completely free of charge. So any issues at all, give Graham and Natalie a shout. Uh, their website is listed below in the description, and you can catch them on Facebook and Twitter as well. So thank you for their continued support. Uh, it is absolutely belting down, um, but I'm, I'm not sure about the wind, to be honest. I think the wind's died right down, but the uh, everybody's ready for the teams to come out. Uh, it's getting to that point where, you know, it's nearly kickoff time, guys. Confidence or not, our stats without Maxi are terrible. Uh, the team are fitter, more organized. We've got much better quality in the back line. Uh, so we've got a good chance uh, for sure of getting something against West Ham. Uh, listen, let's just give the lads this opportunity. Uh, just wondering, Paul, it's 8 a.m. here in Cape Breton. Uh, and John and yourself have your own watch longs. Just wondering why. You guys are awesome together. Enjoy the match and hope you are uh, family are well. Listen, 
it wasn't John's issue. I, I decided to do um, watch alongs by myself. It's just because I, I like doing it. I like commentating on the game. And I feel like if there's uh, more than one person doing the watch along, it's difficult to commentate on. Um, and, and John likes doing his watch alongs as well. So, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. Uh, John Joe says 2-0 to Newcastle. Madness that Bruno's not starting. Uh, who are our subs? Yeah, Bruno Almiron, and then we don't really have anyone else. The ball's there. Um, obviously, we've got Fernandez and Lascelles on the bench um, as the players are now coming out for the start of the game. Um, you know, th- th- this is... Th- I'm starting to get a bit nervous now, but uh, as you do when Newcastle United play. Uh, do you think ESM has had a falling out with Howe? Uh, no, I don't. I, I wouldn't read anything into that yet. Um, come on, people, trust in how he's not let us down yet. Uh, we need Bruno G. Bet he comes out in the first half. Uh, in how we trust, uh, Eddie knows better than us. Simple, indeed, he does. Um, that's one thing I hate is all them bloody bubbles flying around at the London Stadium. It's mental, isn't it? Absolutely mental. But never mind. Uh, you understand they're trying to get a player up to speed in the pace of the Premier League, but this guy was playing for Brazil in an international game a few weeks ago, so he clearly has the ability. Yeah, I mean, that's what I struggle to understand sometimes is, you know, the going about blending him into the Premier League. He's a Brazilian international. Um, you know, I, I don't get that. He's played at the highest level for Brazil uh, against some very good teams. You know, he's played against Argentina, et cetera, in big, big games. Um, so it's a bit puzzling for me, that one. Um, Wacky says, afternoon, Paul, there will be more balls into the box for Wood without ASM. Uh, in there, also Fraser will backtrack too. I hope so. Uh, confidence is key today. Vital players out need the boys to come and push on. Uh, Michael says, how hasn't really done anything wrong. So for trust him to play Bruno when it's the right time. Uh, Paul Firth says, afternoon, everyone. I was surprised that Murphy is starting ahead of Miggy. I wasn't surprised about that. Miggy hasn't played well at all um, this season, and I'm I'm not really surprised in the slightest that he's missing. Um, You know they're never going to listen. There's always one that makes the comment. Uh, Murphy is better than Miggy. That's why. I agree with that, to be honest. Uh, I've lost my BT Sport here. I'm not sure what's happened there. This is the problem with computers. I'll reboot Really looking forward to this game, though. Um, not so much. You know, I'm just looking forward to seeing how we play, you know, and, and as you know, Joe Linton said, saying his prayers. Um, I'm just really looking forward to seeing how we play and, and, and go at them and try and get a result. Uh, because I think, you know, like I said before, if we sit back and, and let them have a lot of the ball and maybe try and play for a draw, I think that's when things uh, turn a little bit sour for us. I think Davey Moyes is having a chat there with Eddie Howe and thinking what's going on with the players and having a good uh, good chat there by the sideline. You can get yourself in for a glass of uh, glass of the old red after the game, hopefully. But normally Moyes loses his temper by then and then doesn't bother with anybody. Uh, I think the reason Bruno isn't in uh, from the start is because he's still learning the tactics. Uh, maybe, but he's a Brazilian international, guys, and I think we need to realise that. Um, you know, he's he's a Brazil international. He's, it doesn't take him. It doesn't take them very long. Um, but hey ho, um, still haven't kicked off here, so still waiting. But again, guys, like I said earlier on, uh, and like the mod said earlier, um, please don't spoil the game by uh, putting in the comments uh, if anything happens before I've commentated on it. Um, just for the respect of everybody watching the game who is slightly behind. Um, you know, and watching it on different streams. Uh, so please respect that and uh, don't put what's going on until once I've mentioned it in commentary, then we can talk about it. So if, if you would, please just respect that. Um, and we're underway. So here we go. Um, West Ham immediately on the attack down the left-hand side. I just love the way when Dan Byrne gets the ball, how calm he is. Um, he's, he's just... So, so calm. Um, and, and looks like he just, he's not going to be flustered. He's not going to be pressured into anything. He's just going to do the simple things and do the simple things right, um, which, which is great. Um, got Joe Willock on the ball here on the halfway line. Out to Fraser. Back to Shaw, then across to Big Dan Byrne. Let's see what 
He does. He's going to look for Matt Target down the left, but it's intercepted. But it comes back to Joe Linton. Big Joe pushing forward, looking for some help. There's not really any movement there for him, to be fair. That's what we struggle with sometimes. Is, is you know, We've said this a lot of times when, when the likes of Shelby have had the ball and they're looking for runners and there's no bugger there. And I haven't started my clock either. That's terrible. Um, let's change the time. And so we'll do it from... Oh. Clock is in action. It's a couple of seconds behind, to be honest, but uh, here ho. I like the way we started the game, though, guys. I have to say, I, we started the game in a very, very positive manner. We've passed it about. We've, um, you know, we're knocking it around quite nicely, to be honest. Focusing what we can do here. Free kick to Newcastle United, floated in. Oh, real chance there nearly for Joe Linton. We nearly got the goal. Wow. Huge opportunity there. Bouncing around Joe Linton, just sneak, just snuck in round the back and he almost got there. That was really nice from Joel Linton. Really nice. Cross comes in. It's deep one to the back post. Joel Linton free header. Shot comes in. Blocked. Scramble in the box. Army oh, bloody thing's gone off. There was a huge scramble going on there. Wow. And then eventually deflected over the bar. Jesus Christ, that was an opportunity. Murphy can't believe it. But this is a really good start, guys. Really good start from Newcastle. Got another corner now. Fraser plays it a short one. Touch to uh, Chris Wood. That's poor. Sorry, it was my target, actually. But we've got it back. Target. Another throw in. We should maybe across the ball here. Matt Target's a bit disappointed with himself that he didn't get the ball into the box. This is a really good start. First four minutes, first four minutes of the game. We started very, very brightly. The Swedish Cafu Emil Kraft is going to be taking a throw in. Um, the linesman telling him to get right towards the corner flag. Kraft's going to try and put this uh, a decent throw in here. Headed away. Really poor throw in that. Not sure what the free kick's been given for there. Is that a foul? Is he given a foul throw? Never. Wow, it is. Foul throw from Emil Kraft. It, it doesn't get any worse than that, does it really? Jesus Christ on a bike. Emil Kraft, foul throw. Wow. West Ham do clear it now. Dan Burnhead straight into space there. I don't know who he was aiming for there. But five minutes gone, guys. We've had a decent start to this game here. I'm, I'm quite impressed with what I'm seeing. I like the way we've held onto the ball. We're passing it around. But, of course, Emil Kraft just took the sting out of the attack there by a foul throw. Really inexplicable, really, for a professional footballer. Chris Wood heads it on. Joe Linton giving chase. Shelby wins it, goes back to Dan Byrne. Calmly plays it into Joe Linton. Back to Matt Target. And across to Dan Byrne, who will just slow the pace down and knock it across to uh, Fabian Scher. Eventually goes back to Dubravka. 
At least we're trying to keep the ball here. That's what I'm liking about this, this game so far. We're, we're keeping the ball. We're using it well. And this is what I like about Newcastle United. Under Eddie Howe, we, we, we keep the ball better. Uh, we look certainly a lot more dangerous. A lot more confident on the ball as well. That's something that, you know, at the start of the season, we were getting the ball and we were, you know, we were... <laughs> Just, it was like a hot potato on everybody was just knocking it around. They weren't thinking about where they were passing it. But now, um, now it's, it's completely different. Um, Harry says, uh, thoughts on Zuma? Uh, well, you know what it is. Listen, I think you just let the club now deal with it and and, and, and get on with it. You know, I, I think that what he did was inexplicable, to be honest, to, to a defenceless animal. Um, absolutely disgusting. However, um, you know, I think now is the time just to, to move. He'll get stick for a long time, uh, but that's his own fault. Uh, he'll get stick for a very long time. Um, but like I say, he brought it on himself, that. So, uh, you know, tough tough shit to him, basically. There's all the Newcastle fans who've made the trip down, trying to spot anybody I know there, but couldn't see anybody. I think West Ham have been very surprised by the start Newcastle have made here. Um, you know, West Ham haven't had much of the ball in this opening seven minutes at all. Not exactly a bad thing, though, to be fair, is it? Long ball from Fabian Sharp, looking for Chris Wood. In fact, it was Joel Linton. Where the hell is Chris Wood? Oh, he's there. Newcastle attacking down the left-hand side. Now Matt Target's going to be able to cross the ball in. In it comes. Right, the Fraser deflected. Oh, my God. It's going to roll out for a West Ham throw in. That was a huge opportunity from Ryan Fraser on the volley. Brilliant cross from Matty Target over everybody to the back post. I think the volley from Fraser was going white, to be fair, but it was an opportunity. Oh, I shaved my face with a rusty razor. That was a huge chance. We've had real opportunities in this opening 10 minutes, guys. West Ham are giving the ball away every time they are getting the ball. Now, the thing is with West Ham, and we know this. The supporters do not like it when they don't play well. And they get under they get under the players' skins very, very quickly. So I think we've got to try and, you know, keep unsettling the crowd. Force West Ham into mistakes, unsettle them, and then, you know, take advantage of that. Simon says, I remember Bournemouth in their prime under Eddie Howe. They played some fantastic fast-paced football. I hope in time to come to play how we did in their best seasons. Yeah, they, they did. Um, I'm ahead of the USA stream on Peacock, apparently. Interesting. But let's just respect. Let's listen to the commentary, guys, and then we can talk about it after the event. For now, oh, dear me. That was a... I'm not sure what happened there. Willock went to kick the ball. Um... Well, I think the both four nouns went to kick it at the same time as uh, Joe Willock just nipped the ball off him. And I think that was a free kick to Newcastle, to be fair, but nothing given. Newcastle have possession. It's back with Dubravka at the minute. Out to Fabian Sharp. He plays it long looking for Chris Wood. Chris Wood just sees off the defence. Oh, referee! Wow. i tell you something. That was a shocking challenge, that. I think he'd given the free kick against Chris Wood anyway, but look at that. That's a disgusting tackle, that. Whether or not the whistle had gone anyway. That's violent conduct every day of the week, that. That's a disgraceful tackle. Good old Ryan Fraser, he just gets up and gets on with it. But it, I think he'd already blew for the foul on uh, on Zuma. West Ham are coming down the left-hand side there. Referee's playing an advantage. Ben Rama, Dan Burns sticking to him like glue. Uh, it's cleared away. Brilliant defending again there. But I think West Ham are susceptible at the back, guys. I really do. I think we've got an opportunity to get at them. Ryan Fraser using his pace there. Awesome stuff.
Joe Linton, no, 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 that's not where to play out. Joe Linton tried to play out there, but Dan Byrne gets it away. I think that's going to go for a throw in. Poor, poor that, really poor from Joe Linton, trying to dribble out his own area. Big chance there for Antonio. Brilliant defending by Matty Target, though. Superb. Cross comes in for West Ham. Dan Byrne heads it away. And Murphy volleys it as high as he can into space. I see, Chris Wood's got to do better there. He's got to do better. That's nice from Willock. I thought that was a foul, but no. Shelby's gone flying in. That was a terrible tackle from John Joes. You're probably going to be booked for it, to be fair. Another one. But the referees keep playing advantage. Now, yep, yeah, he said play on. V complicated here because there's so many tackles going in, guys. Oh, Woods lost the ball again. He just cannot... This is what annoys me, guys, is he's not... There's some real tackles going in here. Now Jared Bourne's rolling around like he's being shot. Yeah, to be fair, he took the full... The full arse end of uh, of Shah there. It was nowhere near his hand. I don't know what they're looking at for a handball for. See, the, the, twice the ball has gone up to Chris Wood already, guys. Twice. And simple balls into him. And he's let the defender come, come through him and win the ball. He's not holding it up. And that was the problem there because West Ham is starting to turn the screw a little bit now. Um, and we needed him to hold the ball up a little bit better there. I'll tell you what, there's some big, big tackles going flying in, undoubtedly, which is good to see. I'm surprised actually nobody in that sort of spell of a minute and a half uh, has ended up in the referee's book, to be fair, but hey ho. But West Ham have a free kick now, midway inside the Newcastle half, right by the uh, the touchline. It's going to be swung in to the to the box. It's gone over everybody's head. And I think that came off Bowen. No, it came off Suchek. Or was it so far? I can't tell. Suchek, I think. And it's a goal kick to Newcastle. So the danger is cleared. West Ham are furious. Think they should have a corner. Let's have a look. And the, the right, it came off Emil Kraft. Uh, we got a bit lucky there. We got away with that one. Hit Kraft's arm as well. I and mean, you know what they're like for penalties these days. Dear God. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, if you're enjoying the show. Uh, we've got uh, coming up to 15 minutes gone in the first half, and it's still uh, Newcastle United uh, nil nil with West Ham at the London Stadium. I've got John Joe on the ball now. Just on the uh, halfway line. Plays it out to Emil Kraft. Kraft looks up, plays a through ball. It's intercepted. Four nulls now for West Ham. Now he can turn. So check. Good rate tackle by Joe Linton. Wins the ball back for Newcastle United. Excellent play from Joe Linton there. Brilliant. Shelby outside his boot now to Matt Target. He'll control it and plays it all the way back to Dan Byrne. Shelby is wanting the ball, and, and and that's what I love about John Joe at the minute. He's wanting the ball. He's wanting to make things happen. Shaw now just plays it across to Dan Byrne. Dan Byrne just in no hurry at all. Plays it into Shelby. Shelby looks like he's playing that quarterback role today for us. But certainly Dan Byrne and, and Shah, plenty of touches of the ball, knocking it about. Really, really good to see. They're certainly not being rushed, Newcastle. They're not being rushed into anything, just knocking it knocking it about nicely. Burn and Shah seem to have a very, very good understanding here. Shah now plays it long. He's looking for the runner, Chris Wood. And Zuma just belts it out of play. That, that was a good ball from Shah because it made Zuma have to make a decision there. And, he, he, you know, 
he, he didn't look comfortable at, at all. Emil Kraft's going to take the throw in again. He bloody make it better than his last one down there, which of course was a foul throw. Awesome. Fraser a little nod down to Kraft. And he's lost the ball. Free kick to West Ham. Uh, Antonio did well there because he was he was backing into Fabian Shaw. Shaw's trying to get the ball. Um He's played for the free kick, but that, that's what the forwards do, and they the win it well. Antonio's pointing where he wants the ball played over the top. But to be honest, you know, Fabian Shah's had him in his pocket so far. There hasn't been any uh, real threats to uh, to Newcastle's goal early doors. I mean, Kraft with a throw in right down in the Newcastle, deep in the Newcastle half here. Chris Wood's just not winning. Uh, see, he's just not winning the ball, guys. Now, Willock can break here. Plays it out left. That's a terrible ball to Jacob Murphy. Should have played it in front of him. But Murphy's done well to recover. Plays it out to Matt Target now. Target head up. Plays it into Murphy. Great ball. Murphy. Ah. Oh! Comes back to Joe Linton, and Joe Linton is uh, playing his usual game of rugby and uh, sends it high and wide, guys, high and wide. But unlucky, but a really good move that from from uh, Jacob Murphy, but just the end product wasn't quite there, unfortunately for us. Brilliant little ball slipped in by uh, Target. You see what he's trying to do? He's trying to pull it back for, for Ryan Fraser, uh, and then Joe Linton saw, uh, saw big... But hey, listen... Good on him for taking that that on. But, you know, we, I'm quite happy with this first 20 minutes, guys. We've certainly had a lot more of the ball than what West Ham have. Dan Byrne into Shelby. This is how we like playing. Little triangles all over the pitch, and it, it, it seems to be working really well. Willock now coming back and helping. <laughs> Whoa. Joe, you've got to be better than that to throw in, though, to Newcastle, but he almost gave it away. Uh, Kendall said if that had been 20-foot lower, it could have been a half chance. Indeed. Indeed. -y. I've got you in this phone, Paul. Cheers, Gary. West Ham here on the break. Brilliant tackle, Dan Byrne. But it comes back to four nals. He plays it back to Declan Rice. Rice looking for some help, plays it out wide to Cresswell. Cresswell into Antonio. First time touch by Antonio to four nals. But again, it's played out wide. Antonio, the danger man, is out wide. Not a great header from Dan Byrne. Straight back to Antonio, played across, cleared away by Newcastle. Impressed with the defending, to be honest. We're defending a lot better. West Ham on the charge here. Jared Bowen. Oh, it's hit the bar. I think Dubravka got a touch to that. Murphy goes right through the defender there. Corner to West Ham. Ben Rama, get up, you soft shite. God, I've seen soiled nappies stronger than him. Bloody hell's fire, man. Yep, touched onto the bar by Dubravka. Wow. Wow. What an opportunity that was, by the way. But hey ho, it doesn't go in the back of the net. It comes off the bar. We get away with that. It's tense, guys. 20 minutes. 20 minutes gone. Nil nil. Corner whipped in, headed away. Now, Joe Willock, can we break from here? This is where we miss Maxi's pace, I guess. Oh, Murphy had made a great run there, but he... Oh, that's the foul. That's got to be a yellow card referee. Got to be a yellow card. Indeed it is. Fredericks gets a yellow card. Willock at Dunham there. Brilliant play from Joe Willock. And he's just took him out. I think Joe Willock knew it was coming to be fair to him and just let him bounce off him. So there you go. 
This is an opportunity to put it in the box. Great run from Joe Willock. I really like that about Joe Willock. That was the Joe Willock of last season, actually going for it and taking players on. Shelby now. Plays it into the box, looking... There's nobody challenging. Joe Linton plays it back across. Murphy! Oh, big Dan Burner goes over him and it's cleared by Declan Rice. Burn with a great header, but... Just missing, just missing that final final ball or final touch, guys. Eddie Howe's screaming from the touchline. I'm not sure who he's screaming at, but he's, he's not very happy about something. He's back with Fabianski in the uh, West Ham goal. He plays it long. Dan Byrne there yet again. Now Bourne. Having a run at the defence. That's a nice little flick on. Here's Antonio, and he's blasted it high and wide. Snatched at that a bit, Antonio, there, but uh, I don't care. Uh, well over the bar. Well over to bar. Uh, we can get at these today. So far, nothing to fear other than Bourne says to Dave. I quite agree, mate. I think we've played really well this first half. Really well, considering the players that we don't have available to us. We've played some sexual chocolate in this first half, guys. We just haven't had that finishing touch yet. Dan Byrne on the ball, plays it off to Joe Linton, who's had a very good first half so far. I love the way how much karma Joe is on the ball now. He, he just doesn't panic at all. Shelby now into Fraser. Fraser out to Emil Kraft. Back to John Joe. We're not be, we're not being rushed into anything here. We're just playing it nice and calm. Long ball by Sharp. That's a good ball. Oh, Fraser trying to get to it. Sorry, Chris Wood. He's done well. He's got the ball in. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Get a kitty cat to scratch me bloody eyes out. That was so close. Had Murphy gambled on that. Great work from Chris Wood. That's more bloody like it. Crossed in. Fredericks didn't know what the hell to do with it. He was all out of the shop there. Oh, man. We just haven't had that last touch. Just put a, put something on Chris Wood's head. He's got, he's got, you know, he's got a really good record against West Ham. Emil Kraft with another throw in. As the rain continues to absolutely lash down. It's a wee bit torrential. Father Snowman says, Paul, we are in some poor form. If you don't win today, would you take a point? Indeed. I haven't been that impressed with West Ham today so far, but, uh, you know, uh, touch wood. Uh, we improve here. It was Sorry, the, we get the goal. Um, Paul, don't mention the cat. Oh, yes. The, mm, let's not mention pussycats. Uh, here, uh, speaking of pussycats, Kurt Zuma bringing the ball forward, but he's, uh, he's blocked and has to go back to Declan Rice. Declan Rice plays it out wide, but it's a terrible ball and Mr. Fredericks can't keep it in play. And it is a throw into Newcastle. We have been by far the better team here, guys. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind we have been the better team here. And, uh, you know, if, if we got a goal, it certainly wouldn't be against the run of play. Um, and it, it, it would probably be well-deserved. I think we've passed the ball around well. We've controlled the game really well. Um... And I like the way we set up and the disciplines there as well. As I say, the only thing that, that, that we haven't done is score. Here's Joe Linton now. Plays it out to Fraser, who seems to have swapped. Uh, Murphy's playing through the middle at the minute. Fraser cuts back. Big Joe's in space. Here is Joe Linton. Finds Murphy. Murphy on the half volley, but it goes over the bar. Hey, that's fine. At least Murphy's trying to do something, trying to make something happen. I'm perfectly happy with that. You know, take take an opportunity because you you know you you don't 
you don't score if you don't take your chances. And that's what I like about Jacob Murphy. He's not frightened to shoot. Um, Brian says, Paul, will you take a nil-nil draw? Uh, well, I would, but I, I'd, I'd prefer if we scored. Um, you know, I, th- I think we're doing really well here. Eddie Howe not asked at all that he's getting drenched. He's just not willing to sit back on the uh, on the in the dugout at all. He's he's wanting to get his message across, and that's what I love about Eddie Howe. He's constantly geeing his players up. Nice from Willick. Beautiful touch from Joe Willick. Go on, son. Go on. Run like the wind, son. Go on, Forrest. He plays it out wide to Murphy. Murphy's got target overlapping. Ah, oh, mother bitch. It's gone for a goal kick. Damn it. Brilliant from Willick. Brilliant. Turned. He, he turned Declan Rice inside out there. Run, Forrest, run. Laid it off. Nice little build up, but unfortunately, it just comes back off my target for the goal kick. Damn, boy. Great defend again from Dan Byrne. Antonio's not getting a look in. Here's Suchek. There's West Ham now down the right-hand side with Antonio. I'm sure they'd rather him be in the penalty area, to be honest, than out wide right. Bradley Big Toe, Willock of old is coming back. It certainly looks like it here. He's had a great start to this game, mind. First half an hour, he's been excellent, I have to say. And that's what I, that's what I want to see from Joe Willock. Driving runs like that, running at them, causing them all sorts of shiite. On the right-hand side again. That's offside, referee. It is indeed offside. Hey, what you gonna do? Definitely offside. Although Big Dan Burns' arm was there, but, I've, you know, never mind. It is offside. Uh, so refreshing through this team under house is majestic indeed. Uh, tell you what, we're playing loads better football. Uh, why? Because ASM not piss farting about. Andrew, I, I think... In a way, I understand, you, you know, where you're coming from there. But also, you know, we're missing the, the explosive runs that we get from Maxi just to give us a break. I think that's what Joe Willick's trying to do, to be fair. You know, he's he's, he's trying to, to drive the ball forward um, and, and sort of take that role on, which is incredible to see. Burns header, just playing a bit of head tennis at the minute in the middle of the park. Willick again. Go on. How a referee! He's waving play on, you absolute butt munch. Go and take your wife runs for a fucking meal, you twat. That was a free kick. Unbelievable, man. West Ham have the ball in the area one half now. Playing it around quite nicely. Out to Cresswell on the left-hand side, being closed down by Fraser. Antonio, oh, he stretches but can't get there. He's like, oh, he's like Pickford last week. Can't get there. Newcastle just calming it down again. Uh, Willock is the best player on the pitch. He's really giving it some. He's certainly had a damn good first half. Really impressed. This is what I want to see. Willock early candidate for man of the match, says Julie J. Indeed. Indeed he do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, if you're enjoying the show and you're new to the channel. And you can also donate to the channel if you wish by hitting the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments, which will take you through to a payment method if you wish to donate. Thank you very much in advance for that. Um, Shah now plays it up to Fraser. Fraser running. Well, that's a foul. And the referee says no. That was not a shoulder charge. You clattered him from behind. But we've got the ball back played across. Dan Byrne, Chris Wood. Shaw, man, who, who is that to? Seriously, I'm too unhealthy today to give him can put up with Chris Woods passing like that. That was poor, man. Simple little layoff to Ryan Fraser, and he can't even get that right. That's disappointing. We need to get a goal while we are getting the chances, says John Joe. Indeed, um, Ian says, Where's the SM? He's injured. Played away by Matt Target. Antonio allowed to bring the ball down. He's all over the pitch for West Ham today. Oi! 
Clattered by Emil Kraft, who then gets booked, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck. I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, you're, you're, you're playing rugby there, Emil, son. Get across and batter. I love, I love the way Antonio goes down as if he's been hit by a truck. You know, he's ten times the size of Emil Kraft. Unbelievable. Uh, absolutely best commentary. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Uh... Harsh on Woody was spinning and didn't see him. Brian, okay. Uh, stick Bruno in for Wood. Uh, do you know what? I, I just think we're just missing that killer punch at the minute, but this is dangerous, this free kick. Four nulls is over this for West Ham, and I believe it's Cresswell who's going to swing it in with his left foot. This is dangerous, people. Here we go. Cresswell swings it in. Oh, it's a goal! Suchek has scored. No, it's Matt. Matt fucking Dawson. Holy shit. Well, that's a piss in the wind, isn't it? We shouldn't concede there. That's a poor goal to concede. Absolutely. Matt Dawson, of all people. Jesus Christ. Unmarked. Completely unmarked. I think Dan Byrne will be disappointed. He saw the run that Dawson was making. <laughs> Couldn't get there in time. It's a really good header, to be fair. <sighs> but look where the free kick came from. A stupid, stupid tackle from Emil Kraft. And we concede a goal. Bollocks to the world. Honest. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck off, you stupid bubbles, man. Jesus Christ. Really annoys me, that does. Right, come on, lads. It's how we respond to going to goal down now. We don't deserve to be a goal down. I have to say that. We do not do not deserve to be behind in this game. But again, a lapse of concentration, a silly foul given away from bloody Emil Kraft. And now that, that could swing the game, to be honest. That could give West Ham all the confidence in the world now to go at us when we've been the better side by a long way. Oh, get up, Antonio, you absolute melt! You're built like a 10-ton train, man. And you're going down like a blob of jelly. Oh, he's still rolling around. Look at him. Ah, oh, me dread I've hurt me dreadlocks. Ah, Jesus. Get up, man, you funny. I mean, Joe Linton did clatter him, like, but Jesus Christ, look at the size of him. What an absolute weapon. Well, there's an introduction to Big Joe for you. Showing the goal again. Poor. I mean, what the fuck is Emil Kraft doing? I mean, looking at that goal again. I mean, it's it's pathetic. It's 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 pathetic. Meh. 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 Oh, God, he's still down, man. If he's concussed, take him off. It's a point letting him sit there for hours on end, fannying about. Eh, hey, dear. Bradley Big Toe, come on, lads, heads up. Uh, Willock needs more help getting forward, indeed. 
Uh, maybe it's safer if he subbed. Uh, look, we had, we had our worries about Emil Kraft before the game, didn't we? We, we knew... We knew there'd be a problem. We knew that that side would be a problem and that a goal would come from it. And that's exactly what has happened. <clears throat> Here's four nulls. Well blocked by John Joe. Now, come on, break. We'll look again. Out wide to Murphy. Murphy pushing forward down the left-hand side. Good run this from Murphy. Looking for support. Gets it from Fraser. Fraser immediately gets the ball in. Woods challenging with the goalkeeper. It bounces loose. Joe Willock can't quite get there. And fucking Emil Kraft loses the ball again. Jesus Christ, man. He's like a Swedish fucking hobbit. Honestly, he does fuck all. Craft on a yellow as well. So what's a bet he gets sent off? Well, that would just top the fucker off, wouldn't it? Really? Oh, I tell you what, Fabianski was playing risky business there. He is John Joe. He's lost the ball. That's a good play from Ben Rama to win the ball back. Nice little layoff there. West Ham on the attack. It's gone out to Antonio, who suddenly looks like a spring chicken. Bell end. Nice, big jaw. Nice. Like an exquisite piece of New York cheesecake, that. Superb. Now we're just settling the ball down again. Dan Burn on the halfway line. Everybody pretty much agreeing that Emil Kraft is the worst thing since sliced cheese. Well, that's a foul, referee. That is a foul. Oh, well, the referee's getting into the usual uh, system of not giving us absolutely bot all here. West Ham coming down the right-hand side now with uh, Jared Bourne. He's going against Matt Target. Target does superb. Wins the ball, and it comes to Joe Willock. Looking for runners. He's going to lay it off to Fraser. Fraser cutting inside now with the ball. He's got Joe Linton making a good run ahead of him. Here's Joe Willock. You can see Emil Kraft, but he doesn't want to give him the ball. I mean, that's blatantly obvious there. Emil Kraft was down the right-hand side, and Joe Willock looked at him and thought, nah, I'm not doing that shit, like... My target into Jacob Murphy. He's got Joe Linton on the edge of the box. Murphy's going to try and get a cross in, but he wins the corner. Good work. Now, this is where we need to, to, to really go at them here. This is We need to be strong. Um, you know, we've got some big fellas in the penalty area here. Use them. Wasn't a bad, uh, wasn't, well, I don't know what that is, but anyway. Hey! How is that not a foul? I think uh, VAR might have to have a look at that. He went through the back of John Joe Shelby there in the penalty area. Chris Wood just, he does not inspire me to win anything. Nothing that goes up to Chris Wood. Am I confident that he's going to win? Great work from Dan Burn to win the ball back. He's now gone sprinting down the right like a hen. Go on, son. Shelby. Chris Wood. What's he going to do with it? Joel Linton. But, <sighs> hospital pass. West Ham have the ball. Oh, this is a chance for West Ham here. He's played out to Jared Bourne. He's going against Dan Burn. Dan Burn tracks him all the way. Corner to West Ham. But hey, was, how was that not a penalty, by the way? I'm I'm staggered. I'm staggered the Newcastle players didn't actually make more of that. Brilliant defending again from Dan Byrne. People that say this guy's got no pace, he bloody has. He kept up easily with Jared Bowen there.
Corner comes in, headed away. Comes Declan Rice just outside the box. Oh, that's a good ball from Ben Rama. This is danger. Jared Bourne cutting back onto his left, fires it in, and down at his near post. Dubravka says, thank you very much. Good build up that from West Ham. But good work from Joe Linton forcing um forcing Bourne, and that's well held by Dubravka at his near post. Long ball from Cher, looking for Chris Wood. But the cat strangler heads it away. And now we've got to throw in midway through the uh, West Ham half. Still West Ham 1, Newcastle United 0. When, to be fair, we've been the better side in this first half, which is very, very frustrating. The minute we're just passing it around at the back at the minute, no real urgency to do anything. I think it's vitally important that we, you know, we don't concede another goal before half time. Certainly, if we can't score one, then we don't concede. Simple as that. Shelby's ball now. That's a lovely ball from Shelby into Chris Wood. Wood lays it off to Emil Kraft. Kraft crosses it in. Way too deep for anybody to get a, a chance to get on the end. That's bollocks, man. That, oh, unlucky. Let's see what he's trying to do there. Play Joe Willick in. Unlucky, but what a terrible cross again from Kraft. He's got Chris Wood to aim at. He's got four players in the box to aim at there, and he's cleared the fucking lot of them straight out over the top. I mean, you know, he's 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 awful. He really is. I don't know how anybody can actually defend him. Antonio's crying again. You know, how about you get up, you fanny? Murphy now going down the left-hand side again. Declan Rice all over him. Murphy's done really well. Really well. Good tackle from Declan Rice. That was brilliant from Murphy. Much better. Much better. Come on. Got to try now. We've got to try and get a goal here. We simply have to. This would be a perfect time to get an equaliser, guys. Corner floated in. It's come to Murphy! Oh, that was a pathetic effort on his left foot. He really didn't give that a go. I was praising him for being two-footed before the game as well, and he's just made me look like a twat. Emil Kraft just... Kicks it out of play. He is awful, guys. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to keep bleating on about it, but when we, you know, we've got no chance with that fucker in the side. Drop Murphy to right back. Uh, make Fraser right wing. Move J seven on the left, and then unleash Bruno. Yeah, we've got to see Bruno second half. We have. We need our best players on the pitch here, yeah. and uh, you know, Bruno. We've paid forty million quid for him. Let's go and actually, you know, see what he's worth. See, let us we'll see his talent. Fornells plays it right across. Great header by Target. Now Murphy again. Handball referee. Not given again. Funny enough. Oh, brilliant from Dan Byrne. Just so calm. Lays it off to Joe Linton. Now, Shelby. Willock's in. Play me in. Play me in. But instead, he gives it to the Emil Kraft, of all people. Let's see what he does this time. Oh, he's going on a bolt forward. Can he get a decent cross in? Yes, he can. Fraser flicks it on. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, now it's Jacob Murphy. He's going to look to come back on his right. Plays it to Fraser. That's nice. Nobody there again. Willock tries to get there. Yes! It's in! It's crossed the line! Yes! 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 J7! 
Joe Willock back on the score sheet for Newcastle United. Windmills in the stands, guys. We have leveled the scores right on half time. Come on, you Maggies. Brilliant effort from Joe Willock to get that ball. Brilliant effort. And we are back in the game, guys, at one apiece. Thanks to Jody, Joe, Joe, Joe Willock. Woo! I'm not sure what Declan Rice was doing with that header, but fantastic work. It's miles over the line. Fantastic work. Brilliant work from Joe Willock. He made that ball his. Look at that. Getting between... That, that is absolutely brilliant. Worked his ass off to get it. Miles over the line. It's 1-1, one, one, baby! Kraft didn't get an assist, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not giving an assist to Kraft for that. You're having a laugh. Cross came in from uh, from the left-hand side anyway. But it's 1-1, one, one, baby. It's 1-1. One, one. I think Declan Rice will be very, very, very disappointed. Very disappointed with where he put that ball. Halftime whistle goes, guys. Newcastle United get an equaliser, right? And deservably so. Absolutely deservably so. And especially from Joe Willock. Oh, there's a bit of argy-bargy between Shelby and... F oh, oh. Fornals and Shelby getting into a bit of a... A bit of an unfriendly little push-push there. Handbags at 12 o'clock, everybody. But the bottom line is, it is Newcastle United who snatch an equaliser from Joe Willock. And it is half-time and it is 1-1. One, one. Uh, guys, what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to play uh, Junior Turner's Banks of the River Tyne. And then there'll be a slight break before I come back for the second half. While I go and have a ham sandwich. So uh, enjoy the song, guys, and uh, we'll see you very, very soon. from and it's in the heart of me the Geordie's what I am and that I'm proud to be when you look back at our history it just fills your heart with pride from the coal mines and the shipyards to the bridges on the tide no matter where life takes us wherever we may roam it can never change us Cause the North East always home Take me home to the banks of the River Tyne Take me home to the place that I call mine It's a place I love best Cause it's better than the rest Take me home to the banks of the River Tyne There's lights that burn so brightly in the northeast sky they shine From the place that Jody's worship Where legends were number nine You can travel right round the world Even meet the Pope in Rome But nothing beats the feeling Of when you come back here to home No matter how life changes We'll never be far apart The northeast always home and it's always in your heart Take me home to the banks of the river Tyne Take me home to the place that I call mine It's a place I love best Cause it's better than the rest Take me home 
Welcome back, everybody. Uh, for, uh, sorry about that. Just had to have a break there and get some lunch, etc. Recharge the batteries for the second half. Uh, let's get a few of your comments in. Uh, let's have a look. Um, Dark by Design says, Crafters cost us, uh, same as the Villa disallow goal. We can't carry players like that. Uh, sorry, but Wood is toilet. Uh, what's how going to do with Craft on a yellow and a liability? That's a, a big decision for Eddie Howe, as far as I'm concerned. He's got to... He's got to take him off. I mean, he is a liability, and they're going to target him, aren't they? You know, they're, they're, they're going to really push him. The the know that he's he's going to make a mistake somewhere along the line, um, and and that's what we need to worry about. But hey ho, uh, let's let's see uh, what happens when we come out for the second half. Uh, we'll have to score two goals, eleven to one with Sky Bet. Uh, Tune Day says the team is playing as a team for each other, not dropping heads when one down. Uh, it shows the character and change how it was installed since he's come in. Indeed. And you know what? I've been really impressed because, you know, we did go a goal down, um, you know, because, but the heads didn't drop. And I think that's the main thing. The heads did not drop. Um, so that's the main thing for me. Uh, because the the heads didn't drop and you know that they kept going and that's what I want to see you know in, in in months gone by you know when Newcastle go a goal down heads would drop and it'd be all doom and gloom you know we'd go on to lose three or four nil not anymore uh, and that is the great thing about the team at the minute uh, Barry says another win for the lads I can feel it coming hey why not you know we we certainly. Played very well in that first half, and for me, certainly didn't deserve to, to to be a goal down. It was a poor free kick to give away, poor defending for the goal. But you know what it is? We've got ourselves back up, back on track, and we're you know we've got ourselves back in the game. Um, Malcolm says I don't hate many people, but Ferdinand is edging towards that place. Um, well, I haven't got the I haven't got the sound on to be honest. So I don't know what they are saying. Uh, I'm loving Target and Burn. Hope we can sign him in the summer. Matt Target's played very very well this first half. Uh, there was some good performances in that first half, some very good performances. Um, Joe Willick stands out by a mile in that first half. So glad to see him back in his form. Um, you know, Joe Linton's played well. Um, you know, we've looked okay. Um, Murphy, I wasn't sure about first half an hour, but last 15 minutes of the first half, came back into it and did really well. Got some good runs. Uh, he's, he's not making any changes at half time because Emil Kraft is coming out. Oh, damn it. Uh, Alan, thank you very much for the £10 super chat, matey. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for that. Um, Andrew says, that's why he's called a monumental bell end, indeed. Uh, get a beer, Paul. Uh, well, I'm not on the beers, matey, unfortunately, with COVID at the minute, but uh, we battle on. We battle on. Joe Willock's had a haircut. I wonder if that's anything to do with his new his, his form today. West Ham are making a change. Johnson's coming on for Fredericks at right back. So this kid Johnson's quite a good right back. I think he, he scored a cracking goal earlier in the season. Um, and he will push forward for West Ham. But again, Fredericks, of course, was on a yellow card, as indeed is our right back. I think Eddie Howe's taking a chance leaving Emil Kraft on. I really do. Kraft is that piece of IKEA furniture that you find in a new flat. Um uh, when you move in from previous owner that you don't really want, should throw away, but are still using it for some reason. Yeah. Uh, Melissa, thank you for the $13.99. Uh, I'm not a Geordie, but my heart belongs there. How are the lads? Thanks, Melissa. Uh, here we go. Second half is underway. And again, I just ask you not to put in the comments anything that happens during the game if you're ahead of us uh, until I've said it in commentary. Thank you very much. Um, please respect that just because uh, some people are behind, some people are in front, as they normally are for these streams. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll commentate and then you can, once I've mentioned it, then obviously we'll talk about it. Uh, how a wood is bound to score sooner rather than later. You'd expect so, Stu, but at the minute that we're not seeing it. Richard Rafferty, thanks for your five pound super chat. He made it very kind. Thank you very much. We just need to play like we did in the first half, and I think we'll be all right. Just don't have that lapse in defense like we did for, for their goal. Uh, Stephen Fraser, thank you very much. 100 pound super chat, matey. That is so kind. 
uh, absolute legend. Uh, another fantastic donator to the channel. Thank you so much for that hundred pound, matey. Um, you are an absolute star. Uh, a win is needed. Come on, the lads, says Stephen. Thank you again, Stephen. Really generous, matey. Unbelievable generosity. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Julie says, remember, no spoilers of any kind until you hear Paul say it. Come on, away, the lads. Let's do this. Indeed he do. But West Ham at the moment coming forward on the right-hand side with the young kid. And that's going to go for a corner to West Ham. Damn. Don't want them to score early doors. Comes the corner. Oh, Dan Byrne took it away from Dubravka a little bit there. Pressure. And eventually it cleared away. Jesus Christ. He is born trying to get it onto his left foot. Indeed, he does. Crosses in. Big Dan Byrne is there to head it away. West Ham putting a little bit of the pressure on here. Cross comes in. Suchek heads it down. Great block from Dan Byrne. Fraser whips it away. We're under the cosh a little bit here at the start of the second half. We just need to see this. Uh, we just need to see this out. West Ham are obviously coming out fighting for the second half. Not very happy that they conceded when they did. Certainly... <laughs> David Moyes would have given them an absolute rocket up their arse at half time there. And you can tell because they've started very strongly here. Fabianski launches one into space, but Dan Burr just, no, that's Emil Kraft letting it come down. For once, he's done something nice. Dubravka gives him it back. That's right. Play out. Dubra well, he hits it long. Look, See, Chris Wood isn't even jumping for the ball. I mean, I, I don't get that, guys. I, I, I don't understand. Why, when you're as big as him, is he not jumping to try and win a header? He's just trying to roll the defence off him, and it doesn't work. Cross comes in for West Ham. Brought down by Bowen. There's a man down in the box for Newcastle, and I think it's a head injury. I think Matt Targets took a nasty one there. I think he'd be all right. He just took a little bit of kick. I thought that was a high foot, to be honest. No, he went into the Well, actually, he, was, he went into Jared Bourne's knee, unfortunately. You haven't started your clock, mate. I know. I always bloody forget that. Bloody clock. Seriously, what the hell's wrong with me? It will be started very shortly. It was an offside as well, to be fair. Linesman got that a bit skew with. Brilliant blocking from Dan Byrne. Superb defending. So we want to see from the big guy. Clock is off and running, guys. I think my target will be fine. He just took a, a bit of a knee to the top of his head. He might have a bit of a lump. So with Dubravka and my target wave back onto the pitch. So no need to panic, guys. He's okay. And Dubes launches it up the field, looking again for Chris Wood. Finally wins a header, but cleared away by the Catman. And then Byrne heads it on. The Catman heads it away again. West Ham have had a lot more position, uh, possession at the start of this first half. Sorry, second half. It's a little bit concerning. We haven't really got off to a flying start here in the second. 
Joe Linton again showing a lot of composure on the ball. Well done, son. Plays it out wide now to Emil Kraft, who starts his run down the right-hand side, looking, where's he playing it? Uh, straight to a West Ham player. Catman heads it away. Fraser trying to get into Suchek, but Suchek wins the ball very well. Ball played over the top, looking for Antonio, but Dan Byrne covers him off quite nicely. Antonio's going to get frustrated, you can tell. He's not getting anything out of Dan Byrne or Shaw, to be fair. Now, here's Joe Linton making a run towards goal. Good run from Joe Linton. Plays it out wide to Murphy now. Edge of the box. Murphy looks to pass it across. It's not a great ball, and it's cleared for a throw into Newcastle. We've got to do better there. We've got to do better. My target with a throw in for Newcastle United. 1 1 at the London Stadium, guys. Newcastle United doing a decent job today. Here's Murphy. Turns, lays it to target. Target looking for Chris Wood with a left foot, but again, doesn't find him. Again, jump for the ball, Wood. Again, he's just trying to roll the defender instead of jumping. Fuck, Jesus. Uh, Daniel says, do you drink alcohol, Paul? Not a lot. Not a lot, mate. Um, Joe Linton is an absolute machine lately, uh, but I'm loving having Fraser's revival. Passion, passion, passion. Indeed. Guys, I know I've got a bang on about Chris Wood, but when you're a striker in that position, you have to jump for the ball. Stop trying to roll the defender. Honestly. West Ham now on the break. And here's Jared Bourne. He's found a bit of space. He's running at Matty Target. Target goes with him. Well played, Matt Target. Superb defending, son. And Joe Linton brings it away for Newcastle United. Here's Murphy now on the left-hand side. No, Nobody really available. There's not much movement, I have to say, from Newcastle at the minute. Poor ball from Murphy into Chris Wood. And then Woods lost the ball, and it's gone out for a throw into West Ham. We need a bit more movement. That's the disappointing thing there, lad, guys. There's, there's no there's no movement there. Very, very static. Get Bruno once as uh, LSO Inferno. Yeah, uh, he's got to come on a bit earlier today. Really impressed with Matt Target again today. He's won the ball again there. Plays a lovely ball into Ryan Fraser. Fraser, quick ball into Wood. Wood back to Willock. Oh, blocked shot. Good football again from Newcastle, though. That's more like it. Fabian Shaw stepping up brilliantly there. Newcastle come forward again. It's Shaw. Is he going to hit a wonder horse? He does. It's deflected, though. And uh, straight into Fabianski's arms. Uh, Stephen Fraser says, target man of the match for me. He stopped some great balls. Hey, he's not far away. I think him and Willock and Joe Linton stand out players for me today without a shadow of a doubt. Really impressed. Good work again there from Joe Willock on the far side. It's gone out for a throw into West Ham. Guys, I'm really impressed with the way we're playing today. I have to say, really impressed. I mean, Antonio is getting more and more frustrated every time the ball comes to him because he just can't get anything out of the defenders. Here's Dan Burnt, lovely turn, just back to Dubravka. Dubravka then out to Matt Target on the left-hand side. Target then plays a long ball. Again, good touch from Joe Linton. My target going to go back to Dan Byrne here. Just slowing the player down again. Just regrouping. And then Dan, Bar Dan Byrne switches it right out to Fraser, who's done really well to keep that in, bless him. But uh, it was never going to go anywhere. And West Ham have the ball now. But the finding Newcastle a very difficult force to get through. Really difficult. Shah again stepping up and blocking off an Antonio. And again, you know, we just got to keep frustrating them, guys. Keep frustrating. We're forcing them to turn back all the time, which is fantastic to see. 
Here's Catman. Cresswell plays it inside now to Dawson. Joe Linton's closing them down very quickly, and Dawson's had to go back to uh, Fabianski, who then launches it down the field. But West Ham are getting no change out of the Newcastle back line at all at the moment. There just seems to be no panic there now, guys. There's no panic when we're, you know, when we're defending. There just seems to, there's a there's an air of calm around the team at the minute, certainly in the back line, apart from Emil Kraft, of course. Here's Matty Target, who seems to be everywhere at the minute. Out to Murphy. Target then goes on a run. Murphy is going to fancy a dribble here. He's going against Suchek and does really well and wins the corner for Newcastle. Come on, the lads! Uh, James has moved Joe Linton left forward and Bruno along with Shelby and Willock. It's certainly an option. Um, but then again, you know what it is? I think Murphy's done all right. He, he was hit and miss first half an hour of the game, but he's made some very, very good runs. Uh, Shelby is quiet, but working well off the ball, says Nigel. I agree. There's a lot of off the ball work going on here, to be fair. Now, this is where we need to capitalize on the size that we've got in the box. Target's free kit, corner comes in. It's a it's loose. Oh, hell's teeth. Good work, Fraser. Get in, son. You know, he's like a, he's like a little terrier. He really is. He he, will, he he runs his heart out. He was nowhere near the ball there, so I think I think that's a free kick to West Ham. But it's taken, and we move on. Here's the Catman, plays it out to Cresswell. Closed down by Joe Willock. Coming up to the hour mark, you know, I, I think there may be a few tired legs in there, so Eddie Howe may be thinking about making a change. We defending really well, I have to say. Defending really well. Get in. And the, the, you know what it is? It'll frustrate West Ham, that. It really will. Here's Shelby driving forward. This is an opportunity here. Shelby, great ball. No, Zuma clears it away. But it comes back to Shelby, who then touches it to Kraft. Kraft then goes back to Shah, and we start again. And you know what? Fair play to these midfielders. You know, they, they know that Bruno is in the wings, sitting, waiting. And, you know, we're, we're do, they're doing a magnificent job at the minute. Really impressed with what I'm seeing from Dan Byrne. Like, really impressed, guys. Just so calm on the ball. This is good football from Newcastle. Here's my target. He's looking to swing it in again. Plays it in low this time. Wasn't the best of balls from Matty Target, but he's got the ball back. Lays it back to Dan Byrne. Byrne plays it into Shelby. Just having a little tic-tac between themselves at the minute. And then Shelby launches a brilliant ball out wide to Emil Kraft. Now, can he get a decent cross in here? He doesn't cross it. He pulls it back to Ryan Fraser. Fraser then crosses it. No, Joe Linton tried to get there. There's a head injury there. Clash of heads. And the referee blows his whistle. Excellent football again, though, from Newcastle, has to be said. Oh, that's nasty. I think there may well be a cut to Joe Linton. But, guys, an hour gone, I have to say, you've got to be impressed with what we've seen so far. You know, after going a goal down, they could have sort of given up and down tools, but as we've done in the past in, in previous games, but we haven't done that this time. We've We've, we've battled hard. And it's fantastic, really, it is. Uh, guys, um, while there's a stoppage in play, uh, if you are enjoying the show, please do hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please do consider subscribing. Uh, the channel's on the road to 10,000. Uh, love to get there sooner rather than later. You can also become a member of the Toon Review. Uh, we have a, a members draw coming up next week. Uh, so uh, that should be interesting. Um, so hit the join button underneath this video or the link is in the description below. And also, you can donate to the channel, as so many wonderful people have already today, um, by hitting the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments. And, of course, a big shout-out to the Toon Review sponsors, Geordie Riffs, 
uh, professional guitar repairs and service and based here in the Northeast, uh, 10% off your first repair, 10% off your first setup and your first uh, guitar lesson completely free. Website is listed in the description below and they're also on Facebook and Twitter. So thanks to Graham and Natalie for their continued sponsorship of the channel. Uh, Swen says, uh, sounds like the boys are fighting for their places. They are. They're absolutely battling. It, it's been gr good to watch it. it you know, it, this is completely different to what we're used to when Newcastle have, have been away from home and, and certainly got a goal down. Now Joe Willock down the right-hand side forgets to take the football with him. Gives uh, Zuma a little bit of a nudge. I wonder what kind of reception Zuma's getting off the home fans. Obviously, I've got the, the sound off on the football, so... Good interception from Matty Target. Nice play from Murphy. Joe Linton just gets the ball through to Murphy. Murphy pulls it back to Matty Target. Target into Joe Linton. Joe Linton back to Byrne. Nice bit of passing from Newcastle to create a bit of space for Shelby, who then launches one downfield looking for Chris Wood, and nothing happens again. There's nothing. There's nothing there, guys. When we when we, do, when we go down that route, that there's nothing happening, uh, and that's the disappointing thing. Um, you know, he's, he's he's not holding the ball up. He's not challenging enough for me. He's not, you know, jumping for headers. Yeah, uh, thoughts on Newcastle fans throwing inflatable cats. I know there was a few on the trains this morning um, and trains and buses. I saw a few of them. Fraser heading the ball. Now, why, why is Emil Kraft in the middle of the central defenders when he's a right back? Jesus Christ. His positional sense, guys, is atrocious. Is Antonio. I don't think West Ham will be happy with Antonio out there all the time. I think we are, without a doubt. This is dangerous. Shelby gets there, though. Not the best of clearances, I have to say. That looked a bit lazy from John Joe. And Antonio miskicks the ball, and it goes for a goal kick. Pretty comfortable. I don't know. Yeah. Antonio went to cross the ball, but it kind of hit his right foot and it took it, took it away from his left. One of them daft moments you see from time to time. I do apologise for my sniffing, guys. Bloody hell, COVID, man. Goal kick from Dubravka. I mean, guys, I can say it till the cows come home. Chris Wood just does not jump and challenge for a ball. And it's disappointing. 13 attempts from Newcastle, eight for West Ham, each with three on target. West Ham coming down the left-hand side now. Suchek plays it out wide. Trying to see if they can get a cross in, but Murphy working really hard to cut the cross out. Johnson tries to get the cross in. Joe Linton is there and does really well again and breaks out for Newcastle. What a brilliant bit of play from Joe Linton. Play it left. Yep. Now Chris Wood down the left-hand side for Newcastle. Plays it, plays it off to John Joe Shelby. Shelby out to Joe Willock. Willock cuts back in onto his right foot, lays it off to Matt Target, back into Willock. Willock, a lovely little turn. Hits a shot just wide. That is brilliant from Joe Willock. What a superb game that kid is having today. Look that, look how he just rolls away from the, the brilliant turn. Wow, that is not far away. Brilliant from Willock again. That's got to be offside. He has got to be offside. Yeah, he's miles off. And that frustrates me when they don't, they don't blow the whistle straight away. You know what it is, though? I think... the. The Bruno coming into the into the squad seems to have just given Willock a kick up the ass, as if to say, "Right, let's see what you can do." Joel Linton just getting a breather here. I don't think it's anything serious. Bruno's warming up. Uh, 
See, the thing is, if if Joe's if Big Joe's injured or there's a little bit of a little bit of a snag, then then take him off. Don't risk it. You can tell that Bruno's just itching to get on the pitch. Absolutely. Question is, is it his groin again? That's the problem. He's looking all right to come back on. Wow, that is some shirt. Newcastle fan with a Hawaiian shirt on, but it's got Joe Linton's face all over it. That is one impressive shirt. Free kick to Newcastle. Dubravka sends it long. Antonio again. Absolutely nothing out of Big Dan Burn today. Absolutely nothing. Great little ball from Murphy. Looking for Fraser. Zuma comes across and clears it. Ooh. I thought there was a bit of afters there, but uh, they the both sort of smile and get on with it. Good afternoon to Lucy Marie Gamer Girl. Hope you're well. It's with Dubravka again. He's going to pump it long. What are we at here? 67 minutes. And it's still 1-1 at the London Stadium. Surely we're going to see at least 20 minutes from Bruno. Surely. I don't understand the reluctance to, to, to put him on. I mean, if Joe Linton's feeling the groin again, you know, just take him off. Don't take any risk with, with groin injuries. Oh, Emil Kraft loses it again. I mean, guys, he's got to come. He's he's a liability, the kid. He is a liability. Dreadful, dreadful footballer. Now, Fraser down the right-hand side for Newcastle. Turns back, plays it into Joe Linton. Joe Linton's got a lot of space here. Plays it out wide to Matty Target. Matt Target looks for a run down the left, but nobody's making it. Cross comes in just over the top of um, Chris Wood's head. Shelby wins the back, but now comes to Declan Rice, who's been quite quiet this second half. But here you come West Ham down the left-hand side with Antonio. He's on the, He's got Emil Kraft in front of him. And he blasts the ball high and wide. And the West Ham fans in the background are not impressed, it's fair to say, with that effort from Antonio. It was an awful shot, to be fair. Absolutely awful. Cut back on his right, and then, dear me, I don't know where he was putting that. <laughs> David Moyes just puts his head down. Wow. Um, Fraser grown on me the last three games, says Ronald, and MF the villain says Hosselu did more than Chris Wood. Yeah. I'm not sure what the referee's having a word with Emil Kraft for, but he better be careful. Of course, Emil Kraft has been booked in this game. The last thing we need is a bloody sending off. So coming up to 70 minutes played, guys. West Ham won at Newcastle United, won at the London Stadium. Uh, quite frankly, I think Newcastle have, have done very, very well today. Logan says, do you think we will stay up? Absolutely. Absolutely. Shaw taking no chances, launches it now. Chris Wood. Here's Joe Linton. Great play from Big Joe again, driving forward. Plays it nicely into Joe Willock. Willock looking for help. Does really well to find John Joe Shelby. Shelby plays it out wide to Emil Kraft. Kraft tries to turn and look to get a cross in, which he does. It's not a bad cross, and it's cleared away, and a Newcastle corner. Again, though, where's Chris Wood? Where is Chris Wood gambling on these crosses? Do you know, fair enough, if he's, if he's not very... Sort of mobile, but he should be getting high balls like that played in by Emil Kraft. You know, why isn't he at least trying to challenge for the football? Makes no sense. Let's see what we can do with this corner. It's going to be my target to float this one in. Ugh, doesn't find a Newcastle head. Willock's got to be quick here. And Willock does very well. Gets it back to 
Emil Kraft who plays it back to Dubs. And Dubravka will pump the ball long again. Chris Wood again doesn't jump. Do you know I'm starting to count how many times that ball comes in and he does not jump for a header? Here's Joel Linton on the left, plays it into John Joe Shelby. Shelby looks up. You can see Emil Kraft on the right hand side. Kraft moving forward now. Shelby pointing to say, give it to Murphy. But again, Murphy wants him to make the run and Kraft just isn't. He's not the same wavelength as the other players. It's quite clear to see. Southampton are going to make a change. Southampton? West Ham, sorry. And it just looks like Ben Rama, who's coming off. He's getting the hurry up off his manager. He wants him off the pitch. And Vlasic is coming on for West Ham. He's rushing Ben Rama off the pitch. He's getting the right bollocking off his manager for taking his time coming off the pitch when he should have been running off. Unbelievable. I don't think Ben Rahm is happy at being taken off, to be fair, but never mind. Not our problem. Well won from Joel and Fraser plays the ball down the line and lost his footing, but a free kick given already against Big Joe. Just shown the uh, little argument between Moyes and Ben Rama again. Moyes pretty much telling him to behave himself. That may go on. Barry says, I'll be proper gutted if we don't get at least a point from this. Indeed. And I will be as well. We thoroughly, thoroughly deserved something from this game. There is no doubt about it. Uh, Sarah says, we're doing it again. We're leaving it late to sub. Yeah, I know. That's the one downside of Eddie Howe. I, I just, sometimes I just worry about his, his, his decisions and substitutions. Like players are clearly shattered. Here's Fabian Sharp looking for the, the ball into Fraser, who lays it off to Emil Kraft, who lays it back to Fraser. This is good football. Fraser dinks it in. Just too far again for Murphy and Wood. Uh, Murphy's done well to chase the ball down. I'm not going to try and get the cross in, but plays it back to Matt Target. He will be able to float the ball in, but it's cleared away by Zuma. Target's done well. Great player from Joe Linton. Nods it down to Murphy. Murphy having a go again. Looking to get a cross in. It's blocked. And then eventually cleared from West Ham for a throw into Newcastle. There's some tired legs out there, guys. Definite tired legs now. And I think it's got to, you know, we, we need we need a change in there now. 74 minutes gone. We need a change. Miggy warming up. We've already seen Bruno warming up. Cross comes in. Chris Wood almost getting there. Joe Linton will. Now, can he get what can Joe Linton do? Crosses it back in. West Ham clear again. Comes out to Matt Target. Target, oh, poor pass. I think he was looking for Murphy there. West Ham can break. And it's Vlasic now on the left hand side. And he's, uh, well, that's a yellow card for Ryan Fraser. There is no doubt about that. Took one for the team there, guys. No doubt about it. Fraser looking pickled again. But he's done, he's, he's, he's had one of those games again where he's just worked his bloody ass off. But he was, yeah. Vlasic knew the tackle was coming, sucked in. Free kick all day long, yellow card all day long. Fraser limping away again. He's put another shift in. But now I think it's the time to make a change. Uh, and this is this is where Eddie's got to earn his money. 15 minutes to go. We need a change. Uh, Waddle says, uh, watching live from Miami uh, as I'm away for work. Great channel. Always tuning in. Thanks, mate. Good block from Shelby. West Ham looking to get a corner. Ball bouncing around. Vlasic brings it down. Cresswell looked to whip it in. He's got to come back. 
finds Antonio, who is miles outside of the box again, but he's put a cross in, but Dubravka's there. Very, very commanding of his area again there, Martin Dubravka. Just slows it down and rolls it out to Fabian Shah. Uh, Ellis Inferno says, I'd have took a draw before the game, but I'd be disappointed if we don't win this now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we, l listen, do we deserve to win? I think so. I think we've played really well. But I think the, the, the main thing coming out of this game was that we, we, we bring something home and we don't lose. Um, and at the moment, that's what we're doing. And uh, hopefully that's what will happen. Joe Linton now plays it back. John Joe Shelby just turns back. Plays it off to Dan Byrne. Byrne, poor pass. Straight to Jared Bourne. That was a bad pass by Dan Byrne. First one I think he's made since he's been at the club. Uh, Daniil, good afternoon. Uh, NUFC have played well. Indeed, they have, mate. Um, you know, they could have they could have put their heads down when we went behind, but no, no. Not these days. Different team. That should be Debrav, because he was a bit hesitant about coming out there, but eventually decided to come and get it. Uh, well, Newcastle are going to make a change, and it's Miggy coming on. Fraser's down, and I think it's going to be Fraser that's getting replaced by Miggy. But again, one thing that we will we will get from Miggy is hard work uh, and, and and a lot of running. Um, yeah, we want to see a bit more from him, but at least we'll get that. We'll get a similar, you know, for Fraser, the work rate will be there undoubtedly. But I think Ryan Fraser, he's, he's worked his ass off again. He's limping away off the pitch, but you know what it is? Fantastic. I can see a few people saying, why not Bruno? But Bruno's not that position. Fraser's playing in the front three, and Bruno's not a member of the front three. We have to remember that, guys. Are we? But well played again. Well played again, Ryan Fraser. Certainly gone up in my estimations this season as a player and the way Eddie Howe's got him going. His work rate is second to none. Absolutely second to none. This is an opportunity for Miggy, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. A big opportunity. He's got 12 minutes left of this game to help Newcastle United get something from it. Shah again down the right-hand side, plays it in. Lovely little dummy from Miggy. And now Emil Kraft coming down the right-hand side. Opportunity here. Cross comes in. It's too deep again. But Joe Linton's going to recover and get it there, get there first. Pulls it back to Miggy. Miggy now, what's he going to do here? Turns it back to Matt Target. Target then says, right. Miggy back to Big Dan Byrne. He's got Shelby in support, but he uses... Uh, Dubravka instead. Shaw goes long again, looking to the left hand side. Just oh, well played, Matt Target kept it in, but couldn't keep a hold of the ball. Dan Byrne, little dink to Joe Linton. Joe Linton dinks it into Shelby. Joe Linton flattened there, absolutely play it wide. Oh, Murphy had a real opportunity to play. Um, Willock in there. It was a poor, poor pass. Real opportunity there. Stinking from Murphy, that was. Stinking. West Ham now just playing it round at the back. Declan Rice. Moving forward for the Hammers. Ten minutes to go, guys. And it's still 1-1 at the London Stadium. Murphy clips it forward. Willock taken off it by Rice. Suchek moves forward for West Ham. Not really many options for him there. He has to go all the way back to Zuma. Zuma looking up for some help. Plays it across to Johnson on the right. He then goes back down to Dawson. Dawson across to Rice. West Ham finding it very, very difficult to get through here. Very difficult. Newcastle still being very, very disciplined defensively. Not giving anything away. Oh, that was a foul by Willock, but the referee's played advantage. Long ball comes in, and yeah, Bourne tries to win a free kick. 
Sharp just rolled him away. And said, nah, not today, son. Not today, son. Just give him a little nudge. And of course, Jared Bourne trying to make the most of it. But uh, yeah, see you later. Shah's too experienced. It really showed there, to be fair. Still 1-1, one, one, guys. Still 1-1. One, one. We have literally nine minutes of the game left plus injury time. And we still haven't seen Bruno. Not sure why. Murphy looks absolutely shattered. Joe Linton looks shattered. But then again, you know, the bounty looks shattered at this stage of the game. Um, there is some tired legs out there. Oh, this is a break for West Ham. Not the greatest ball by Vlasic there to Cresswell. Cresswell wanted that ball in front of him. But here come West Ham now with Declan Rice. Dawson now. Johnson's made the move from right back. But that was brilliant tracking again by Matt Target. What a game he's had as well, by the way, guys. Uh, John Joseph, Newcastle score winner. Are you going to take your top off, Paul? Absolutely no chance. People don't need to see that kind of thing on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, how is probably playing it sensible? Uh, Kendall says, what a signing target's been. Indeed. It's a throw to West Ham, which Antonio's going to take. So Antonio's obviously got the big long throw on him. Here it comes. Dan Byrne wins the header, though. Murphy just kicks it out of play. Murphy's looking exhausted, guys. I think we need another change. Joe Linton's down again. Look, if there's any doubt, if he's got cramp or whatever, just get him off. Just take him off. We don't want to, you know, we, we don't want any unnecessary injuries. Here's Declan Rice for West Ham. As they try and get a winner here. But again, Newcastle defensively looking very, very astute. Not giving West Ham many opportunities. And we'll take a goal kick. Thank you very much. Good, sir. Coming up to six minutes left. Plus injury time. Looking at Dawson's goal again. Of course, there's Joe Willock's little brilliant Brilliant improvisation to get to that. Bruno's coming on, guys. He's coming on. And I would think it'll be for Joe Linton. Because he's worked his ass off again, Joe Linton. But he is starting to get a bit of cramp and again, you know, a little bit of muscle, muscle pull, which... We don't want the muscle to be completely ripped and then he's out for months. Kurt Zuma at the back for West Ham now. Touches it off to Declan Rice. Rice then plays it across to Dawson. Joe Linton, however, closing him down fantastically well there and Dawson's just launched it out of play. Um, so a free uh, throw to Newcastle and Bruno is going to make his appearance. Well, not yet. Just patiently waiting in the wings. Eddie's just having a little conversation with Jason Tyndall about uh, certain other things. Yeah, Murphy's looking knackered as well. We don't want it to cost us any goals. Dubravka comes rushing out his goal. Claims the ball. Five minutes to go, guys. Five minutes to go. Plus injury time. I can't see there being a lot of injury time. There's been no significant injuries or goals for that matter. So I, I can't see the, just for the substitutions. Brilliant from Joe Linton there. Antonio thought he had the ball and then Joe Linton's big size 15 wrapped around him and uh, won the ball. Cleared away by West Ham. Straight to Matt Target. Joe Linton. Poor t that was a tired touch from Big Joe there. Very, very tired touch. Miggy chasing, brilliant. Chasing Declan Rice all the way down, but Rice has done well. He's got a cross in all the way to Antonio at the back post. This is dangerous for West Ham. Here's Johnson, the fullback. 
he will always look to get a cross in. Plays it back to Antonio. Trying to scoot inside of two Newcastle players. My target sticks to him like glue, but it's still there. Vlasic, shot comes in, is blocked by Dan Byrne. Fantastic defending again, but we're under the cush a little bit here, guys. Declan Rice now to Cresswell. Flips it over, headed away by Kraft, and then hit away by Miggy. Not the best of clearances, to be fair. We need a whistle here. We need a whistle. And I think we're going to get one here because uh, my target, brilliant tackle on Antonio. And are we going to make the change? Dan Byrne is fired up. He's screaming at everybody indeed. And it's actually Joe Willock coming off, not Joe Linton. He has been quiet the last uh, 10, 15 minutes or so, Joe Willock. But well played, man. What a game he's had. Absolute great game today, Joe Willock. No doubt about that. Tiger Studios says, Paul, you ever thought about being a BBC commentator for Match of the Day? <laughs> I'd love it, mate. I would, really would. But Bruno's on the pitch. And the first thing he's got to do is defend. Long throw in comes in, headed away from by Newcastle. There's some real tired legs on that pitch now for both sides, to be fair. Here's Joe Linton. That's a lovely touch from Bruno. But Murphy, again, tired legs. So he would have been there. What a touch that was, by the way. First touch of the game for Bruno and it set him away. Throw into Newcastle, which Matty Target is going to take. Good afternoon, Chris Murray over there in the States. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Daniel says, Newcastle United need Wilson back. I think when Wilson does come back, we are going to be quite the force, to be honest. I think we'll look a lot more threatening up front than we do at the moment. I just don't... Wood's clearly not the answer. I'm not impressed with Chris Wood at all. I think he's... He's been poor today, in my opinion. He's, he's, he hasn't jumped for any headers. He hasn't won anything. I mean, just not there. Here's Murphy. Oh, I thought that was going to bounce nicely for him there. Shah cushions it down, but Vlasic intercepts the ball. But it's had to go all the way back to Fabianski, but uh, Miggy's going to close him down. West Ham played out. Here's Johnson. Long ball forward again. Antonio... Well, I don't know what that was from Miguel Antonio, but Dan Byrne is going to clear all the way to the halfway line, but it goes out of play for a throw to West Ham. Be interesting to see what the uh, how much time will be added on, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure, but it can't be that long because it's just the substitutions, really, in the second half. I can't remember the physios being on. But we have worked so hard and so well today. Oh, what's going on here? Four Nows looks a little bit... Ooh, he's booked. Miggy's rolling around the floor like he's uh, been attacked by a bear. Yeah, the follow-through. Yep, I can see why that was a foul. Dirty bastard. Following through with his feet up there, taking Miggy's knee to the races. And four nails looking like a, you know, oh, what did I do? I did not do nothing. Da, da, da. Yeah, well, whatever, mate. Just get on with the game. Funny. Five minutes. Five minutes injury time. Right, well, for a start, I don't know where the hell that's come from. There's been no goals in the second half. There's been no treatment. There's been a couple of substitutes. Where has five minutes come from? Flaming Nora, but he's unfunny. Can't believe that. I was expecting about two minutes, three minutes tops. And he goes and says five. Wow. But we're going to get a corner here because Dawson's headed it back. This is a chance. Come on. Would actually won the header there and forced Dawson... Tried to nod it down to Fabianski, but he ended up knocking it out. How are lads? 
Put this one on Big Dan Burns' head. Smash the onion bag. Dan Burn looks like you need some sudden oxygen at the minute. He's absolutely knackered. Target's corner. Floated in. Again, doesn't find a Newcastle head. Emil Kraft. What the holy shit was that? Seriously. And the offside flags up. Well, that linesman looks five years old. Jesus Christ. They're getting them in young nowadays. Bright sunshine shining through my bloody window now, which is why I look like Casper. I can't be asked to change my ISO now. It's too late in the day. I just have to look like Casper for a while. Joe Linton wins a header. He is Miggy. Bit of head tennis going on there. Bouncing around. Fabian Shaw brings it out again. He's going on one of them. Fabian runs, lays it off to target. Matty Target inside, but he's lost the ball. This is dangerous. Declan Rice is breaking down the right-hand side now for the Hammers. But well, well tracked back by Jacob Murphy, but a quick throw in. Four Niles sweeps it across. Cresswell for West Ham. He's going to fire it in, but that's well blocked. Bruno Gramerez for Newcastle. Just taking his time. Breaking forward, there's nobody in support, and he wins a free kick. Oh, no, he doesn't. Well, excuse me. Fucking hell. Honestly, that was a free kick all day long. But this referee, he clearly wants a little bit of added time on for the Hammers here for some reason. I see Chris Woods. Seriously. I saw a tortoise the other day, and I swear to God, it was quicker than, quicker than Chris Wood. Joe Linton now for Newcastle. Here's the one last chance for the Maggies. Out to Murphy on the left-hand side. There's only Chris Wood in the box. I don't think we're going to take any serious chances. Here's Bruno. Looking very composed there. Just lays it off to Big Joe. Joe Linton again. Bruno in support. <coughs> He goes back to Fabian Shah. Newcastle controlling the match at the moment. Whipped across, looking for Emil Kraft, who will get there. But good covering from Cresswell. How the holy shit is that? Emil Kraft has gone down. Oh, he took a nice pair of studs down the, uh, down the leg. He's, he's screaming in agony, but he's obviously off the pitch. So... We're a man down now for the last couple of minutes. Here's Jared Bourne, but the ball has gone out. Oh, and Bourne goes after Dan Byrne. <laughs> Are you crazy, son? Are you mental? <laughs> Honestly, Jared Bourne, man, what a pillock. I mean, yeah, Dan Byrne went through him fair enough. I can see why uh, Bourne's quite annoyed because... He'd already given the throw to Newcastle, to be fair. But he's booked. Interesting. I'm not sure why he was booked. The ball was out of place, so surely you can't... I don't know. Never mind. Jamal Lascelles is coming on now for the last 10 seconds of the game. Because Emil Kraft is down and out, so we're not going to take any chances. That's if he gets on, because the five minutes are now up. So how long is he going to play added on, on the added on time? West Ham have the ball. The five minutes are up. Great work from Shelby. Great work. And that's it, guys. It's finished 1-1 at the London Stadium. And Newcastle United remain on this really good unbeaten run. We get a point out of the game. And, you know, quite honestly... I think we deserved a little bit more there today, guys. That was an excellent performance. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Really enjoyed the game. Really enjoyed watching how we played, considering we had no Wilson, no ASM, no Trippier, and we play like that. I think the lads should be proud of themselves today. Absolutely, 100%. I'm certainly proud with that performance, guys. Really, 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 really Really happy. 
And you can tell West Ham are clearly disappointed because, of course, they've got top four aspirations. And, I, you know, in, in fairness to West Ham, I, I do actually hope they get top four. I'd, I'd love to see a different team in there this season. And certainly West Ham are the, the only ones that can possibly do it now. All the lads going across to the fans again. But you know what? We would have taken a point before kickoff, guys. And, you know, to be honest, the way the game went, you're actually coming away disappointed we didn't get all three. But like I said at the start, you know what? It was vital we came away with something today. And I think we've just proved how much more resilient we are now. And, um, you know, good on Eddie Howe. You know, we're, we're, what, five points away from Norwich now. Um, you know, we're level on points with Everton. I know Everton have got two games in hand on us. But we're now only a point behind Leeds, two points behind Brentford. We are right in there now. Um, and you know what? I think it's it, it, the only way is up now for Newcastle United. Um, but listen, guys, if you have enjoyed the watch along today, please do hit that like button for me. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed what you've seen, uh, please do hit the subscribe button on the road to 10K. Um, thank you to everybody that has obviously super chatted today. Very, very kind. Um, and also, uh, you can become a member of the Tune Review if you hit the join button just underneath this video or the link is down below in the description. And a massive thank you again to the channel sponsors, Jordy Riffs, uh, professional guitar repairs and service and based here in the northeast uh, Graham and Natalie are your guys to go and see who are from 10% off your first setup 10% off your first repair and your first guitar lesson completely free of charge guys uh, website is listed below in the description you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter uh, just watching pictures now of the, the players and the management team uh, you know applauding the fans for, for making the journey down and why not? They've been they've been excellent today. I think Eddie Howe's actually disappointed that he hasn't won the game, which is a shame because you know I think we deserved it. But you know what it is? Again, like I said, vital that we came away with something today, and we have. Uh, but that's it for the watch along, guys. Uh, join me in what an hour and a half's time for the match review uh, with myself, Danielle, and uh, Alex Tunstato. Uh, where we look back on the game, we'll look back at uh, what the stats all said, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but in the meantime, guys, uh, thank you very, very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this for you today. Um, kept my mind off the COVID for one. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you at 4 o'clock for the match review. Take care, guys. Uh -huh.